Hello friends, welcome back to Info.Food Campus. So, in this video, we will discuss about another example to calculate the time complexity of a program. Okay, so we want to calculate the time complexity of a particular function. Okay, so for that, so let's say we remove this and write a function. Suppose the function is sum function. So we want to calculate the sum of the numbers in an array so you have a array and you want to calculate the sum of all the numbers in the array so for that you have to pass the array here so suppose this is array and this is the size of the array in okay so inside this function the initial sum so the initial sum is suppose zero okay so this is a one statement so the next statement we have to write is a for loop to iterate the array and sum of all the elements one by one okay so for that we have to write a for loop here and inside this for loop we have to write i equals to zero i less than n and i plus plus and inside this for loop will sum of the elements that is s equals to s plus s plus array of i okay and finally finally we'll return the sum s okay so this will be the function to calculate the sum of all the elements into an array now we'll see each and every line and first we will see the first statement here so here is equals to zero so this is a simple statement and it takes one unit of time okay so if this is a simple statement then it will take one unit of time so next there is a for loop and the for loop iterate from i equals to zero to i less than n and every time i increase by one unit and inside this for loop there is another statement and this is not a simple statement there is some operation occurring into this statement okay so how many times this for loop will iterate and this statement will execute so if suppose n equals to 2 so let's suppose n equals to 2 here okay so suppose n equals to 2 here for better understanding so for i equals to 0 so this is the initial condition okay so for i equals to 0 first it will check i is less than n that is 0 is less than 2 yes this condition satisfied then we will go inside this for loop so this condition is checked one times so right here one so this condition checked for one times. So now we'll go inside the loop and this statement will execute. So for i equals to zero, this will execute one times. Next, i will be increased by one. That is i was zero and now i is one. So now we'll check is one is less than two. Yes, one is less than two. So here we will increase the 1 as this condition satisfied. So this statement will execute and this will be increased from 2. Okay. So now we will increase the i value. So i was 1. So i will be increased by 1. That is i will be 2. So now we will check the condition here. That is 2 is less than 2. No, this is false. But the condition is set. So here three times we check the condition okay so for that we have write a three so here this statement will execute two times and this condition will be checked for three times so so if this statement execute for n times then this condition this for loop condition will be checked for n plus one time so here i less than n this condition will be checked for n plus one times and here this i plus plus this will be increased n time and here this statement also execute for n times so here so here will be n 
plus 1 okay and here for this statement the time will be n unit okay and finally there is a simple statement here written as and for this simple statement the time taken is 1 so this statement will execute for one time so this will take one unit of time so now the total time taken by this function is you can see 1 n plus 1 n and 1 so if we sum of all this time that is 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 so total is equals to twice n plus 3 so twice n plus 3 so this is the total amount of time taken by this sum function so now what will be the time complexity so here you can see 3 is constant and n is a variable and and the time complexity will be And the time complexity will be order of n as 3 is constant so we'll ignore this constant part and the time complexity for this program will be order of n okay so now what is the space complexity for this program so here you can see this is an array so the space taken by this array is n as this will take n number of elements so here the size of the array is n and so this is a fixed size so it will take one unit of space okay so next come this s so s takes constant space so for this is the space will be one unit so next come this i and i is also constant and it will take constant amount of space so for this i it will take one unit of space so here one means the constant okay so for this everyone this is constant okay so the total space taken by this program is n plus 3 so this is the total space taken by this program and here 3 is constant so the space complexity for this program will be order of n okay so in this way we can easily calculate the time and space complexity of a program okay friends so hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to our channel so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care